Many of the glass negatives Matthew Brady used in his photographic documentation of the Civil War, and thus in some of the earliest photographs, were afterwards discarded or sold for pennies to starving farmers. These glass negatives were then recycled to build greenhouses to grow food that provided sustenance against the deprivations of the post-war South. As the years went by, the sun's rays burned the imagery from the glass and the story of these greenhouses was nearly lost. The greenhouse was conceived to demonstrate that the memory of painful times can be re-envisioned into something that will inspire people to heal the wounds of the past. It is also a warning of how history and the environment can be lost without care and guardianship. This greenhouse is a bridge from the old South to the new, a search for identity through our shared history of the politics of race, confrontation, eco-awareness, and renewal. The greenhouse opens a difficult but crucial dialogue by providing a place to listen to one another's voices, to learn, an interactive document of our history provided through its photographic legacy of the past 150 years. This greenhouse, or growing house, will function as a non-denominational sanctuary, not unlike the Rothko Chapel or the blue light beacons to the heavens every 9-11 in New York City or the Vietnam Memorial. It will be an environment to reflect, to discuss, to learn, to join together, to grow. This will be a greenhouse where ideas are grown. Ideally, this installation should be strategically placed, viewable from a great distance, yet structurally scaled to suit the environment. Up close, the contents will be food to feed the imagination and provoke emotion, with images old and new tailored to be indigenous to the specific location in an area of its own, visible from a great distance. At night, it will be illuminated by the energy of the sun stored in solar panels, a message which never sleeps. A site where reflection and compassion is grown, cultivated, where diversity and ecological responsibility is celebrated. The experience should make no easy or simple judgments. It should simply be a recording and depiction of our past, our present, and the possibilities for the future.